My name is Roy Thurston, and I'm an artist in Los Angeles. I've been here about 35 years living in Los Angeles. And uh, I've been painting all the time I've been in Los Angeles. I started working on paper and, and wood, and now for about 15 years I've been painting on that. Uh, it's a brilliant piece. Um, one more question. I mean, where, where, where does this come from? Why, why? What's your sense of feeling like there's got to be this connection in humanity to, to an object that isn't a human object? You're, you're almost trying. Are you trying to prove well, that you like, can actually connect to a non-living object? I think it attempts to elicit that question. That's one of the questions that it works towards, and that's the viewers responsibility to start to form an answer. Obviously it's difficult with just one piece seen in a museum, but seeing a number of my works, the answers become a little bit more clear that, that uh, you can have relationships in a very simple way right. with these art. I love it. Hi, uh, if you want to come by to your studio and talk more in detail. Fantastic. There's Thank lots you. to see. Perfect. Okay. No, no, I'm all the way downtown. Yep, got three more. Thank you. Yes, thank you. My name is Brian Palmier. I am 50% uh, of Journey of Palmier. Well, he is not with us right now. He's in New York. Okay. Um, but this is a picture that was taken in Zacatecas, Mexico. And it's, uh, it's called a Ferias. This, this is a Ferris wheel. And the series is called Hot Cakes. Mm -hmm. And the Hot Cakes is basically pancakes little small pancakes and they use all these different types of jams and, and caramels and things like that. But this is, uh, this is basically just a night shot of one of these stands and there's like four different stands and this is one of them with a long exposure to two hour exposure to just get all the movement and everything that's going on. And I just went last year and these don't exist anymore. So I yes. captured, I captured it and it's not, it doesn't exist anymore. So I kind of feel, I'm really, I'm really happy about this work because it's history. Yeah, exactly. I don't have these stands. Basically, if I have one of my biggest goals in my, in my work is if I can evoke a memory in the viewer, then I think I've succeeded. If I can if, if I can make somebody go like, I wish I took that picture or I remember that, then I feel like I've, I've, I've done my job. Because as a kid, being a little kid and just looking at things and being like, oh, you know, and now having the knowledge and the know-how on how, how to capture things like this, I do it. So if I can bring like a childhood memory or something that, something that you know, that they know, that, that they can bring back from their, their memory, you know, I think I've succeeded. You know, I go from the bottom to the top, everything what I do, how I will, how I do all of this. Uh, this way, for me, it's very easy to build sculptures, even for other artists. You can tell me through your telephone what you want to do. I build up this to three dimension. Not so, a phone call. Not a phone call. You, I close my eyes and I actually see what you want to do. And I can tell you if, if it's right or not right. It's special weight. And it's very important to me in any sculpture, visual, uh, the visual balance in art. This is why when you build a sculpture, you build from the bottom to the top. Once you finish the top, you want to have it balance all the way to the bottom. Right. Many artists, when you build special abstract, you know, they build, they build, they build, they build, and then it's come off. I have to take off, it doesn't go together. And this is certain, you know, uh, I believe I have a little bit of uh, a gift to see the other world. Right. Um, but, and it's know, complex in many ways because it's not just the size and the portion of how you're doing this, but you also need to be thinking what it needs to look like five years from now, ten years from now, based on the weather and the treatments too. This is one thing if I build for myself, I build for other artists, I always take into consideration structure, the looks, many of them, quite a few artists, they make the art, they finish, they don't think five, ten, twenty years in advance, you know? I always think when I'm making stuff, you know, really, you put inside.